If you're an Apple computer user, you may be wondering, is it worth it to upgrade to the two terabyte system? Well, I'm here to tell you that buying this SSD enclosure and the M.2 SSD help you save $520. In this video, I'll explain why. We all know that buying Apple products can be pretty expensive, whether it's adding more storage or improving performance. However, there's a more cost-effective solution that will give you more storage without breaking the bank. This is a small device that you connect to your computer via the USB uh, Thunderbolt port and it's pretty much an external hard drive. They have ex other external hard drives that are a lot slower but they have bigger capacity and they're a lot cheaper and you can probably pick those up for around 50 bucks but I recommend getting the uh, this because the read write speeds are a lot faster and you can copy your data and transfer your data a whole lot faster than using the traditional spinning hard drives. Let's check out Apple's website. As you go to their website, it shows that they want $800 for a 2 terabyte SSD storage and that brings your total cost to $1400. That's before taxes. Moving on over to the Amazon website, you can see that the total price comes out to $268.91 after savings, which isn't a bad price at all considering the fact that Apple wants $800 total for 2 terabytes. So let's see if we calculate that, that's about $139 for the NVMe M.2 2 terabyte plus $109. Uh, for the enclosure which comes out to $248.99 before taxes so 800 minus 248.99 before taxes comes out to $551.01 here I'm going to show you guys how to um, pretty much install this external hard drive onto your Mac mini you pretty much hit allow here uh, it's going to say that uh, this disk is not attached readable so what you're going to want to do you going to want to go to disk utility and highlight samsung the ssd that you want to uh, partition and once you're there you're going to want to hit erase once and uh, choose the format i use apfs that's pretty much what i use for all my macbooks uh, or my apple products and then once you're done with that you're going to want to name the uh, SSD. Pretty much choose whatever. This is my wife's SSD, so I'm going to choose uh, XO Livy one terabyte external external hard drive. Once you've named it and you've chosen your format, you're going to want to hit erase. After you've done that, it's going to do all its thing here. It's going to show that it's mounting, uh, cleaning up the disk, and getting it um, set up for your for use. After that, you hit done. And it's ready for you to use. In conclusion, if you're looking to save money and expand your storage on your Mac Mini or your MacBook Pro, the NVMe 2TB enclosure is the way to go. It offers a cost-effective solution that provides high-speed data transfer, ample storage space, and the flexibility to use it with other devices. So why would you spend a fortune $800 when you can save $520 and get these two products here? Well, thanks again, guys, for watching this video. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video. If I saved you $520, let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. I appreciate all the uh, support from you guys. Thank you guys for watching. You guys have a great day.